What is going on Mafia? We are out here again at Solitaire Homes. We are out here looking at the Landmark. This is another double wide. Again, awesome built quality home. You're gonna love this one. Let's get in here and let's have a look around. See if I can do this and not have the gimbal go nuts on me. All right, let's go on into this one. See what we're looking at. Oh, now see, that's nice. Again, I'm going into this first time with you guys. So I haven't seen this, but I love this place to put coats. Put your shoes. Another thing that I'm big on is a place to sit in and put your shoes on. I'm six foot three. Better know put your shoes on. You fall over sometimes. So I like that. Right on the right in the entryway. I'll get this door shut and then I'll start panning so you guys can see what we're looking at here. All right. Here's your living room. Again, I'll get you a good shot of that. It's a big living room. Nice living room. Now, on the other side of this, now here's your dining room with a nice accent wall. I love that uh, barn wood accent wall here in Texas. We love that rustic look. If you're not in Texas, that's all right. You, you don't have to get that. You probably get something else, I'm sure. And maybe it'll do that for you, that may not. You just have to contact them here at Solitaire Homes. Rosalind is super, she'll help you out. Anybody be able to help you, but Rosalind is my go-to. So the kitchen is right off your dining area, which is nice. Here's your kitchen. Now again, a reminder, if you look at the width of that wall, now I'm not sure, let me put my hands up there. Now, most walls that you see are two by four. So that means my hand will be like right here to the end of it. This is a two by six wall. All the way throughout the house, all the walls are two by six, insulated, super insulated solitaire is building some quality homes so if you're looking for a home that's going to last you for a while you want some solitaire homes look at that my wife loves i love an island too we love islands put some bar stools right there kids can eat breakfast there in the morning refrigerator Got your freezer on the bottom. Now we have one, we have a refrigerator like this. I love that freezer on the bottom. I'm just look in here, see if there's any food. Nope. Getting up at lunchtime, I'm getting kind of hungry. See if I can maybe grab somebody's food. But look at these cabinets. These cabinets are not what you would expect in a mobile home. They're just not. And look, you can adjust the height. Solid wood. 
built very, very well. Let's check out the drawers. Again, nice drawers. Super, super, super nice. It's the home you'd be proud to live in now. Look at this. Love that raised ceiling. Now here's another thing. If you look right here, that's something that my wife and I, we love. Vents in the ceiling. So we don't like to be stepping on vents on the floor. Now again, as you know, if you, if you are a follower of this channel, if you subscribe to this channel, which you should, by the way, you would know that we don't live in a mobile home, but we have a three-story home with a basement here in Texas, which is very odd, I know. Everybody in Texas tells me so every time I tell them I have a basement. Now, this is one thing I've noticed with their homes. They have these pantries. Big pantries with great windows in them. Love that de decor. I was going to say decor. All right. Now that over there looks like the, it could be the master. So we're going to save that for last. Big old living room, I'm telling y'all. It's a big living room in this house. If you talk with Roslyn over at Solitaire, She's going to tell you all about how this house is built. And if you're a construction guy like I am, you're going to find out. This house is built to last. It's not built to just get you in it and fall apart on you. It is built to last. That's how we do it in Texas. We like to build things that people can be proud of, live in, enjoy. Let me tell you, I'm walking on this floor solid as a rock, just like I'm sitting on a, walking on a, on a cement foundation. Look at that, more coat hanging places. They stack this place. Now, I don't have, ele I don't have electricity in here, so I can't turn a light on, so it's, it might get a little dark on us, but we'll, we'll fight through that. We'll fight through this. There's your utility closet right here, if you can't tell. Here's your access for your dryer, your vent for your dryer. Hot and cold for your washer. Look here, here's your gas bath. Gas bath. It's a half bath, got a toilet and a sink. Another thing my wife likes is cabinets over the toilet. It's another thing she loves, cabinets over the toilet. Being 6'3", I have to worry about hitting my head. Hey, how's it going? All right, now we're back out here just on the other side of the kitchen. This was the dining area again. This is just the other side of that. With that awesome wood panel. Not, not uh, your 80s wood panel. No, this ain't your mama's house. This is some awesome barn wood accent wall. Love that. Way to go, Solitaire. All right, let's go down here. So we've talked about the guest bathroom, which is right out here. And that takes us to our first guest bedroom. Big bedroom, I'm telling you. Solitaire builds, builds big guest bedrooms. And one of the things I always want to remind you of with solitaire homes, you're getting a basically a site-built home. I mean, this is not a mobile home, mobile home. This is a site-built home, basically on wheels. It is mobile, but it's real heavy. Here's the bath. So you got kind of a Jack and Jill bath going on. We'll get to that in just a second. I'm gonna finish out this closet right here. So this is your Jack and Jill, but then this is the closet in the guest bedroom or kids bedroom or office. Whatever you're gonna use the room for, nobody's gonna tell you what to do. It's your home. Get all in there. Let me get all in there because I know people wanna see what's back there. My gimbal, y'all. I'm sorry, it's giving me fits today. But I think we might have gotten it worked out. All right, let's get into this Jack and Jill. 
Got your medicine cabinet type thing there. Get all your easily accessible items. Super nice drawers, lots of drawers, lots of cabinets. Double sink. Back here you have your shower tub combo. And of course, your toilet. No cabinet over here, but you got a window, which is nice. Again, that's probably the one I'd be using. Cause I don't like to hit my head on cabinets above me. And this goes into the second bedroom. Again, nice big bedroom. Nice big bedroom. Here's your closet. Now again, you guys, they store stuff in these closets. It's no, no big deal. They, it won't be in there when you move in. Don't worry about it. Not a big deal. All the screens will be up where you want them to be. We're gonna put it together for you just right. All right. There's your closet. Now look here. This what then the this this is the third guest bedroom. So if you got three kids or three guests, you got plenty of space. Or if you're like me, me and my wife, we're empty nesters. We don't have any kids, but we got grandkids. We got grandkids coming out the ears. And Mimi, she likes to have places for them to stay. Mimi likes to have a little workout place too. She got all kinds of workout stuff that she likes to run on and bike on and shake on and all kinds of ons. Here's your closet. Good side closet for a guest bedroom. But maybe she likes to have those things tucked away somewhere so she could use one of these bedrooms back here for that. Just giving you ideas. Again, it's your house, you do with it what you want. I always have to watch out for things like this because my head will hit those. Normally there would be a table there to protect you from it, but now look here, this, this living room, I gotta mention this, this living room. Two, one, can you see my hand? I can't see my hand. Where is it? There it is. One, two. So big, you gotta have two fans to cool it off. Love that. You could do it separate. You could have two different spaces if you wanted to. Me, I like, I like the big group. I want the group to be together. I love that big living room. Here is the master. Everything, everybody always waits for the master. They're always looking for the master. So we're gonna get in here and give you all the master. Big master, big master. Look at that. Got crown molding up there. Love that crown molding, good touch. Again, uh, one of the things I forgot to mention, this is this is uh, not cheap sheetrock on the walls, half inch sheetrock, tape embedded, just like a, a side built home. Just like a side built home. Now here's your master closet, this is a walk-in. This is what my wife's always waiting for. Again, there's stuff in the closets. It's no big deal, y'all. Won't be there when you move in. Won't be there when you move in. They just store their stuff here because these are just properties for people to come off site, have a look, see if it's something they would want, which is what you should do. If you're interested, I'm gonna give you the information at the end to give them a call. We don't sell the homes here. The homes here. I'm not a salesman. I don't work for solitaire homes. I'm just here so that you guys can get a peek into the home and see if it might be something you're interested in. All right, this leads us into the master bath, which everybody is always excited about too. Ladies love. I get a lot of comments. Ladies love the bath. So there's your walk-in shower. Scan back here, look at that. Big walk-in bath. Look at all those cabinets again, just like the 
Yes, there's a Jack and Jill back there. Double sinks. That's nice. Super nice for all the decor and everything. Put your candles up there, have your little soaky bath, whatever you want to do. All right, and this is a true bona fide water closet. Got a door on it. Oh, look at that, I had to watch my head. Man, cabinets, cabinets, cabinets galore. My wife is going to love this. Man, I'm in trouble. She sees these videos. She is going to want something like this. This is a nice home. Nice, nice home, y'all. All right, we're gonna take you in here. We're gonna talk a little bit about the pricing. Now, as you guys know, Solitaire doesn't like to advertise pricing because there's so much involved. There's the shipping of the home. There's the uh, deliver the not the delivery the setup um, sometimes people want uh, septic tanks sometimes people don't want septic tanks there's all kinds of different variables uh, in the end so they ask that you give them a call for pricing so you can give them a call for pricing or or you give them a call to come in and have a look at the home if you're interested and they will they will uh, talk pricing when you come in and have a look um, that's just one of the things that Solitaire does a little bit different than most folks and, and uh, again the reason they tell you that is because they want you to come in and see the quality my gosh it is impressive for those of you that uh, for those of you that are uh, that know a little bit about contracting and and uh, and all that I mean come on two by six walls where do you hear about that all right, so uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll check you guys out later. Again, like, subscribe, give me comments. We're trying to. This is a brand new channel. We're trying to hear what you guys are wanting. Uh, so if there's things that we're doing you don't like, let us know. If there's things you're, you're doing that we do like, let us know, and uh, we'll make sure to address those uh, in the coming days. All right, we appreciate you guys. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when new videos come out. We drop uh, three times a week. But this is it, signing off. This is the landmark at Solitaire Homes. Uh, description for the uh, for Solitaire Homes is in the bottom. A little bit more on the, uh, the mobile home is also in the description, so check that out below. Talk to you later. Bye.